Danny from DED Studios here and in this video I'm going to show you how to edit video in Photoshop and I have Adobe Photoshop CS3 extended and when I say edit video in Photoshop I know that sounds pretty confusing like how would you edit video in a picture in photo program and why would you want to do so so let me show you the advantages uh, just open Adobe Photoshop and like I said, I have um, Photoshop CS3 Extended. It's the Extended version 10. And so that's the only one so far that I know that you can for sure uh, do this editing of videos in. I'm not sure if it'll work for the regular version 7 or 8. I just know it works for Extended for right now. Uh, you go to File, Import, Video Frames to Layers. And what this is going to do is that when you import your file, wherever it is in your computer, it's going to create, for every frame that you have, a new layer. So let me just show you that. And I already know what file I'm going to pick out for this. It is Spider-Man in front of a green screen. And it's a .mov. And uh, Photoshop will accept MOVs, AVI, and MPEGs. No uh, window, Windows Media video files. Um, not quite sure why, but that's all that they have right now. So I'm going to click load. And that's going to ask me if I would like to range to import from beginning to end, which is fine for me because this whole clip This whole clip for me is 8 seconds. And so that's just fine for me. But if you have, say, a 10 minute clip, then maybe just about here on the timeline, don't look at the picture. Uh, right here, I would say, right there would be a good 2, 3 minutes. I'm not quite sure how long the max is, but I do know that when I tried to import my 10 minute clip, all of it, when I clicked OK, from beginning to end it said could not import because it's more than 500 layers so longer than 500 frames and so I'm just gonna do this from beginning to end it's only eight seconds keep that in mind this is only eight seconds long and um, let's see how many layers it has quite a few this one doesn't count it's just white 125 layers for 8 seconds. That's quite a lot. But, let me show you why this might be a good thing that you can do this. Now the reason why I am doing this for my video is that in my movie, this is part of a movie that I'm coming out with, the green screen tool in Adobe Premiere Elements 4 or the blue screen tool or the chroma key, I've tried every type of keying it takes out the blue in the costume, which you could imagine kind of looks a little odd. If everything else were to be gone to, you know, all the other green. Just the red in the rope. It looks pretty odd. And so that is why I'm going to have to go frame by frame to uh, just erase just the green parts and what you can do is you can just go right around it and I'm not gonna do this whole thing on this video because this would take quite a while you know you can see how you can zoom in on the hands or something and just make the the brush way smaller and then you know almost perfect it you know try and get every green pixel so that's one way that editing video in Photoshop could help you. Let me just step backwards a couple times. I don't know why it keeps on going up to the top. Um, and also, you know all those cool filters and effects you can do with your photos in Photoshop? Well, you can do them with your video, too. So, layer 1, which is frame 1. See, each of these are frames, so if I put the eyeball on, you can see he moves slightly. See these are each frames. See? 
just making sure you get that. So I'm on frame one, and I'm just going to go, see, you can use any of these if you would like. I'm just going to go to poster edges. That looks pretty cool. I'll just click OK. And see, that looks pretty cool. And that's actually on my video, but only for the first frame. I have to go to the next one, press the eyeball, go to the filter, you know, recent right here, poster edges. And so, so far, when he's moving, that's what's happening. See him move? And so, if I were to apply that to all of these, then that would be pretty cool, but that's not exactly what I want for my video. But I could see that cool effect, you know, the effect of using filters, such as poster edges, you know, they would be a pretty cool effect. And another effect that I think that looks cool, another filter I should say, is liquify. And liquify, you remember, from um, the normal Photoshop, and you know, you could just manipulate anything really, and you can do that for the video. So say I'm just going to make his head bigger. And he's shorter. Yeah, that'd be pretty interesting to do for all those 125 frames, but I'm not going to do that at this time. But my point is, is that this could take a long time, as you can see, because you have to go frame by frame by frame by frame by frame. You know, and it depends really how long your clip is, but mine's only 8 seconds, and it's way up there, 125. But I hope that you can also see how helpful this could be, how how different you can make your videos, you know, by adding filters to them. Because I, honestly, I haven't seen these. I don't see these a lot in um, photo programs. I don't see a diffuse glow like that. Maybe glass, ocean ripple. Yeah, I know Pinnacle has some of them. But look at that, dark strokes. That's pretty cool. I could definitely see that for a music video. Like I'm saying, most of these I could see for a music video. But these are the cool effects and filters and whatnot you can do to your video in Photoshop. And then when you're done with it, say I, I don't know, I'll just go to a random filter. Hmm. I'm just going to go Neon Glow, how about that? But say, I don't know, I have to go, I have to get off the computer, I have to go somewhere. Go to File, Save As, like you normally would. And then just save it like I did here before. Spider-Man frame by frame. Just I'm just going to save this as entitled. Save it. Okay. And there you go. And when you exit it out, and open it back up again, that one layer is done. And then you can just continue doing the rest of it, however you want to do it. So that's how you edit video in Photoshop, and I hope this was helpful to you guys. Um, like I said before, I'm not quite sure if this can work in regular Photoshop, but I know it definitely works in CS3 Extended. So uh, rate, comment, and subscribe if you'd like, and just I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. All right, um, I'll I'll see you guys later. Send me any messages if you have any questions. All right, see ya.